So for Media Tech Social, this is Raj Katechi with Vernon from Micro Drone. How's it going? Hey, good, thanks. Yep, going really well. Cool. Now, your new drone is called the Micro Drone 3.0? That's right. So it's a new, um, it's a new model. It's a small size, sophisticated uh, personal drone, which can give you HD video, and uh, it's a small size in the palm of your hand. Okay, so palm of your hand. So and it's already on 3.0. So if we can get this drone to come into my hand right now. Okay, let's see where it is. Okay. So and I've been seeing this flying around for quite a while, and it's pretty impressive. Uh, should be coming into shot now. There it is. So that's pretty cool. Now, now that, that can go straight up, right? Yeah, it was a good landing. Just throw it up. Yep. Camera's going to get this. Camera, you got this? Ready? And there it goes. It's got an algorithm and an accelerometer. So when you're flying in the air, it will actually just snap back into position. So the accelerometer. So it's got an algorithm and an accelerometer. So when you're flying it and you're upside down, the actual accelerometer will sense it's upside down and just snap it back into position. Can you do that right now? Uh, yeah, sure. So uh, throw it up, upside down like this. There you go, and it's uh, back in the air. It flies extremely smoothly. What is it about this that's kind of stopping it from being all jolty and crappy like the other drones? So there's uh, a, lot of, a lot of sensors for the micro drone, which make it much more stable than the previous version. So there's got an accelerometer, a six axis gyro, and a compass. And that together, that makes it much more stable. And um, the technology for the micro drone is actually developing much, much faster than we imagined. So every year, we're building new, new sensors which can add more functionality, whether it's like, you know, um, sophisticated GPS modules, altitude, um, you know, things which can uh, change the navigation and improve the performance. All this technology is getting much, much more advanced. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's focusing on the development. Let's have, let's have a look at it real quick. Let's look at the device over here now. This is aimed at, um, is it aimed at kids, consumers? What, what, who, who's it for? This is like a drone for everybody. It kind of gives you a taste of what you get on a bigger system, but at an affordable price. So instead of normally buying a sort of a bigger drone, going straight into that and spending a few thousand dollars, you can buy a micro drone and it'll give you many of the things um, which you'd get in a bigger device at an affordable price. It's incredibly light. Uh, if you want to just take a look at it here, it's quite, quite, quite cute, quite beautiful as well. But it still feels extremely sturdy. I mean, even though it's like got the soft plastic on the outside, why don't you just talk us through the device and how it actually works? Yep. So I'll show you how it's all modular. So the main thing about micro drone is the way it all clicks together. Um, with the modular design, it's, um, it makes it much easier to maintain. So if you crash it and break something, you can just swap it out. So this is the battery, like that. It's like a cartridge which just snaps in, and the magnets just snap onto the camera, so you can connect the camera in seconds. So how many cameras can we connect to this? Um, we're developing four cameras, but it's, at the moment we've got one camera which streams live footage and also stores on board. Streams live footage via Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi, yes. It's a special 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. That gives you a much longer range. We've worked really hard to extend that. So now, initially we had 50 feet range, but now we've, then we extend up to 75 feet, and now we're doing up to 100, 150, um, yeah, 150 feet now. Wow. Let's have a look at the device. So this is the modular design, so um, I'll show you how it all, all clicks together. This is the insert in, internal parts of the drone. So, Wait, so hang on a second, just, so, just for the non-geeks the non out here. Each wing has its own module, module. Yes. that tra transmits to the wing data. Exactly. Not data. This is the power cable. Power. So that connects into the, into the main proprietary board. And then this is a, a metal arm. So it's very strong. That's why I felt like it was strong when I was holding yeah. the drone. And this is nylon, a really strong nylon um, uh, landing leg. And then this is a very strong rubber, a rubber um, a blade. So that makes it strong. And then it also that clicks into there like that. So if you, if, you're, if you break it or change something, you can just swap it out and put it in again, and it's uh, good to go. So when is this, I mean, is this available to consumers right now? Um, so it's not available yet. Um, we're, we're, we're in production right now, actually. We're shipping the first units in the end of November. In time for Christmas? In time for Christmas, hopefully. You know, we've got 25,000 to ship out. So How many to ship out? 25,000 pre-orders. Pre-orders, so I assume you were crowdfunding for this? Indiegogo, yes. So we, we launched Indiegogo, and as of yesterday, it's raised $2.7 million, which is insane. And we're shipping in November and December. If you order it now, you might be able to get it in January, um, possibly February. Um, but um, right now, it's uh, giving up for mass production. So just talk, talk I mean, it's an interesting way to, to, to fund a new business. Talk to me for a second, if you can, about Indiegogo and, and crowdfunding and, and how you made that decision, how it ended up working out for you, which obviously sounds pretty good. So Indiegogo is great because you can put, put some ideas out there and then you can get validation from the, the crowd. So um, when we were speaking about to, to customers about the first um, generation drone, we had a kind of basic kind of understanding of, of the drone technology. We created an initial drone with no camera. Second generation, we added a camera by listening to people's feedback. And then the third generation, we 
built the features over about 18 months period, just coming up with ideas and then getting uh, feedback from the customers and saying, hey, what, what do you like about this? What, what would you like to see better? And then we, um, with, with crowdfunding, you're able to build a community and um, that's kind of, you don't have to raise investment. You can just, um, instead of giving all um, equity to like uh, kind of these greedy investors, you can just offer a much lower price direct to the customer and then they can order it via Indiegogo. So then what happens, uh, explain me, uh, as a business guy, what happens? You then, you get a whole bunch of devices and you come off Indiegogo and then just start selling direct? Um, yeah, so the, the plan is to, once we've shipped um, all our Indiegogo backers, we will then launch into retail. So we've, we've been seeing so many amazing retailers right now, and they're going to be launching the first quarter of the year, and distributors all over the world. We've got about 20 distributors in those countries, and yeah, that's going to be a full launch. So coming away from consumer drones and, the, and, and toy drones and things that maybe someone like me can afford, as we move up the kind of drone, uh, uh, the food chain, the, up the drone food chain, what should we be looking for in terms of drone, drone trends? Like what, from, a, from a hardware and from a tech point of view, what, what's the future look like heading into, let's say, 2020 for this technology? Well, our focus is on small size leisure drones, but there are, there's like, you know, agricultural drones for mapping. There are um, cinematography um, for, you know, for cinematographers, videographers. So what about in this world for, for leisure drones and the world that you know? So for our micro drone, um, there's, I see about at least 10 years of development for micro drones. So maybe you'll see a micro drone four or five or a six and then every every sort of two years, we'll you know um, put together the latest technology to create a new model, and then you know we're already building like really highly sophisticated systems, which will you know possibly be good for future models. So, um, yeah, it's I mean that's amazing, dude. Thank you so much for showing it to us. It's incredibly impressive. I mean, for those of you, we just want to just do a quick look around. Uh, take a, take the camera around real quick uh, of, of the whole area that we're in. Move the camera into the area that we're in, and just see that you know we this drone was flying around here at incredible speeds, going right up to the wall. In fact, here's the drones up again, if you want to just see. Now that's got a maximum speed of what? 45 miles an hour. And, and uh, you know, if you look at that, it's just, it's incredibly remarkable. Like everybody who is in the area, uh, as far as, you know, a few rows away is looking at this and it's, it's eye catching. I think it's something that we need to look out for in the world of, uh, of media tech and social. So thanks so much for giving us this heads up, uh, Vernon. I can see that you're having the most amount of fun again making this spin around. See if we get it in my hand one more time, yeah. Touch it in your hand, touch it. Put your hand, like this. Like this, like this. Oh, this guy, okay. So, that's pretty cool. Vernon, thanks so much for joining us on, uh, on Media Tech Social. Pleasure. And uh, we'll, you know, for wherever you see this video, just subscribe, Facebook, YouTube, you know what it is, thanks for watching. Cool, thanks. Thanks.